Hello and welcome to WebDemetos YouTube channel and you're watching programming in Java series for beginners. So in this video we're going to see about the data types int and long. Int. Int is a 32-bit signed twos complement integer. So we have seen the shortened versions of the integer named as byte and short recently. So byte and short are somewhat called as a data type which has smaller range compared to int. Int has a reasonable range for storing the integral values or the numerical values. So the minimum value that you can store with int is minus 21474836488, which is formed from minus 2 to the power of 31. So the maximum value is 21474836487. The 2 to the power of 31 minus 1 gives you this value. So this range is enough for you to store some normal numerical values unless it goes beyond that. So if it goes beyond that, we'll be using long, which you'll be seeing later on here. So the default value that is used in an integer or int is zero. So we have already seen anything that deals with integer values will have zero as defaults. So if it's byte, short, int, long, float, double, you'll be having zero as the default value. Same goes with int as well. So int is used to store integral values. So if you are having an integral value that is a numerical value, which is reasonably long, you can use int. So the reason why most people might avoid int is that they know, they are sure that the number that they're going to save or store in a variable is not going to be long enough that it needs an integer. So it takes up 32-bit memory. So if you don't want that much memory to be taken, you can use byte or short in place of integer or int. So if you are sure that your number or variable is going to have only 100 as its maximum value, you can use byte instead of int. So that's going to save you at least 24-bit memory in your program. So that's called optimization of the program. So now we're going to see about long. Long is a 64-bit signed twos complement integer. So when you want to store integral values that goes beyond the range of int, you can use long. So the minimum value that you can store with long is minus 9223372036854775808, which is formed from minus 2 to the power of 63. So it's going to be a fairly long range. So you won't find it difficult to store a number when it is an integer value in long. So if you are thinking that, okay, it's going to be a very long range, then you can use long. And if it goes beyond that, then it's going to be very difficult for you to program. So the maximum value it can handle is 9223372036854775807, which is formed from 2 to the power of 63 minus 1. So the default value of long is 0L. L stands for long. And long can be used in place of where you need to store values that goes beyond the range of integer. So the places where long can be used is that if you want to get an ID of a cursor or a value from the database, there are chances that there are huge number of data values that is available in the database. So it might go to a situation where it can go beyond the integer range. So at that time, you can use long. So most of them use long in place of getting the ID of the data values from the database. So now we're going to see the practical implementation or the declaration of the int and shorts in our program. So I'm going to create my program. I'm going to open my notepad with administrative rights. I'm going to import the basic class. So I'm going to create the class int and long. And I'm going to create the public static void method. Static void main method. So it's going to have the string args as my parameter. I'm going to declare my int variable first, int variable. And I'm going to store some random values named as int. So we can, just to make it easy for you, we can store up to 10 digits of integer. That starts with 2 and ends with some number. So it's going to be 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So it's beyond the range, so I'm going to reduce it in order to make sure that I'm not getting the error. And we go for long, L-O-N-G, variable. It's equal to, 
So in here, you have to do a couple more stuff. You have to finish it with an L in order to say that it's a long variable. So I'm going to print out these variables in my command prompt using system.out.println. Out.println. We have already seen the reason why we are using system.out.println instead of print because it's going to go to the next line after printing the variable or the string that is given inside the method. So I'm going to save it. So I'm going to save it in the Java JDK 1.8.025 bin folder, which is going to be inside your program files folder if you have installed it there. So I'm going to save it with the name of the class. So it's going to be int and long dot Java. So now we need to open the command prompt with administrative rights in order to run this program. So I'm using Windows key and X key and uh, Windows 8. And it depends on what operating system you're using. I'm going to the Java folder, which is inside my program files. CD space Java, CD space JDK 1.8 star, CD space then. So now I'm going to compile my program, which is int and long dot java. So now my program is compiled successfully, so I'm going to execute it. Int and long. And we have printed the numbers. Let's actually increase the range. I'm going to add three more values and I'm going to compile it. And it's fine. It's still in the it's still within the range. So let's add two more values. One, two. It's still within the range. So I can add something like three more values. Sorry, four more values. I've added four more values. Let's compile it now. It's still within the range. So it's a very long range that you get from long. So I'm just gonna add too many numbers now and I'm going to compile it after saving the file and it's going to give you an error so at last we have gone out of the range of the long so it takes this many numbers in order to go beyond the range of the long so right now I'm getting integer number too large two three something like a long number so it can reduce some three numbers and get back to the range in which the long lies now one more number Saving it and compiling it. It's still too long. Whoa. Saving it again. We're back in the range. So take some uh, huge number in order to go beyond the range of long. So you can use it when you are not certain that uh, you have the doubt that the number will go beyond this limit of integer. That's the end of the video and hope it was useful for you people. Thank you for watching the video and if you find it useful, please like the video and also share it with your friends. And if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. There are a lot of videos coming in and if you have any comments or suggestions or feedbacks, please feel free to share it. You can share that in the comment section or in the Google Plus, Facebook or Twitter feed of our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.